Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are doing good. It is Thursday, July 30th. Cannot believe it. Tomorrow is August 1st. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Um, Y'all, where did the time go? Not tomorrow, but Saturday is August 1st. Wow, just wow, 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 wow. In some ways, this year, I think we all agree we want it. We want 2020 to come, 2021 to come on in, but it does seem like 2020 has been kind of crazy. But it has gone by fast too. So, all right. Hi, Julie. How are you? I can't imagine what Julie's going through. She works at the schools, so that's uh, I know very interesting. Debbie says she's doing well. That's awesome. I'm going to be painting a dog bone. Who doesn't like a dog bone at Christmas? With a big old tag out here. And gonna be painting a poinsettia. We sell lots of dog bones and lots of poinsettias. I'm, I'm gonna be busy the rest of the year, isn't that the truth? Yeah, we've been super busy just doing all kinds of things. So um, I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, sometimes I think it's hard to get the sleep and get the mind rest and all of that when you do have a chance to sleep. Okay, so we're doing a poinsettia. I'm doing a poinsettia. Y'all are watching me do the poinsettia. So I did this, obviously I painted the um, red base coat because y'all know I always start with that if I have a lot of red on here. Start with the red base coat. And I did some green leaves, right? But I left this green leaf right here undone because I wanted to show y'all, if you get a poinsettia and you, you're you gonna have to kind of come up in here with those, uh, in that little small space with the green paint. So what I did on all of those is I just used my brush, uh, my script liner. Hey, Sissy, how are you? Uh, I just took this and came up in here because that's really the only way I know to get in that tight, tight space for um, my green leaf behind the red poinsettia part, flower petal part. So I just did left that last one there just so y'all could see how I did the green and uh, no big deal. Just kind of go in there with that strip liner. Now I'm going to um, do something with a very light hand, something I don't normally do. Y'all heard me say I have a heavy hand, I do. But these are like the little seeds in the flower, right? And so I want that to be you can tell there's not a lot of space there. And normally you guys see me just take this brush and this um, script liner just kind of bear down really hard in there, but not tonight. I'm going to, and because this is in the middle, you know we kind of start in the middle. So that way when I'm going here, my hand is going to have to rest and I'm, all of this is dry, which is important. Yeah, this is number 20 red, Debbie, uh, here. Good question. And then this is that Christmas green, I guess number 11. And this is your light yellow, which I think is like number 13. So I'm going to just try to not put a lot of paint on my brush. Of course I had to put enough on there to get something done, but I don't have a lot of paint on here. And I'm gonna to try to do this very lightly. And I'm just, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the outside here, okay? And I don't have a whole lot of paint on here because this is a small space. And I'm gonna just go around like so around that perimeter not a lot of paint because this is really small um or really i think the smaller things are harder to paint to me than some of the bigger things so i'll come over here i'm not trying to shade it because i don't have enough room to shade in here i'm just really basically outlining it and then i'm going to come in here and i'm going to outline those little seed looking things the round part so notice i start here in the middle so when my hand is laying on this, all of this is dry because you don't want it, you don't, you're going to get paint on you no matter what you do, but you don't want it totally dripping you, dripping off of you, I mean. So we're coming in here and I'm trying to go with as light a hand as I can, just kind of sitting here and daintily going around. That's all I'm doing. Okay. And then once I get that, what I'll do is I'm going to come in here. I'm gonna do some little circles in here. And these are my little seeds of my flower. Okay. Okay. 
Just trying to be careful, careful in here. Okay, I think I've got my seeds kind of the way I want them. And I've just took that script liner and made it very, very light in there. And that's the middle part. That's my seed part, okay? Now that I have that, I'm ready to work on the red, which is um, the flower petals. So I'm going to do, okay, so I'm looking at this red and this looks awfully dark to me. I'm not feeling that. This is supposed to be my shading red, so I'm gonna just take some regular red. I guess it's my shading red, even though it looks kind of dark to me. I'm not sure about all that, y'all. So if you don't like the look of something, just kind of look at it. Hey, Donna, how are you? So glad you could join us. Uh, if you don't like how dark something is, I'm gonna put a little more of the regular red in here. Because y'all know, I've told y'all before, the shading red is just something I mix by hand using red and black and that was too dark I, I wasn't care I wasn't caring for that so I'm going to lighten that up it's getting better now I'm lightening it up I put some water in here this was some dark shading red I thought it was too dark so I put some regular red in there to kind of lighten it up I'm gonna get my brush uh, I'm gonna get a uh, hmm, let's see trying to find because this is a small area, so I'm going to take a brush. This is number 12, y'all. So it's not very big. You can kind of see. And I'm going to dip it in. And I always like, I guess everybody has to find their comfort spot. But when I'm using a brush, for whatever reason, I always do better working from here toward my body. I, I don't work away from my body a lot. I tend to work toward me it's just it, it doesn't mean you have to but that's just the way I do it if that's what feels comfortable to me so I'm gonna pull that and I'm going to come over here and notice I'm not trying to make really big strokes because I have a smaller area here so I'm gonna kind of work like this and then I'm gonna come in here and do in the middle something like that and then I would just do something I'm trying to having a hard time getting enough paint on here. I want enough paint, but okay, do it like that. Okay. And I'm going to do that same thing like so. And I'm going to come in here like that. Here I'm laying down on that brush a little bit more, getting a wider stroke than what I did over here. Because I wasn't feeling that one, it was too, a little too skinny. Now when I already have my, my shading here, I'm just gonna come down here and go back up. start here and come all the way down and I'm gonna go ahead and go on this other leaf over here And 
and I'm just taking that brush and, and dragging it towards me, right? And then I'm angling it at a different angle over here. I'm making those loose, just like light brush strokes there. So I'm on my last one as far as this is, uh, for the red. I'm gonna come over here. Just kind of making that brush come towards me. Now I'm gonna let this set aside for just a minute. I'm gonna do our little dog bone. There's not much to this little guy, the dog bone. Not much at all. In fact, the tag almost seems bigger than the, than the bone. I kind of did that <clears throat> on purpose because I like for everybody to, to see. I like to make the name big right here. Hey Terry, how are you doing? I know you saw the email because you replied to it. Terry uh, ordered a uh, a personalized split monogram for the last name and I got hers done I emailed her today and um, to let her know she could come get it all right I'm just following the lines of the CNC right here and I'm just kind of going up and then notice I just take that brush and just kind of pull it up I'm going to do the same thing around this white just take my brush and put a little bit of shading around there and then I'll come up and just do that I got my paint right here. I'll probably do that. And then of course I gotta come over here and do the same thing to this side. If you want a wide, if you want a wide stroke, put a lot of pressure on your brush. If you want a thin stroke, try not to put any pressure hardly at all on your brush. That's really the difference. It's how much you bear down on that brush. So I'm gonna do this C and C line just here in the middle. And then I'm gonna come up here. And I'm gonna do like this. Mm -hmm. There's the hole for the, uh, the stake. Okay. Yeah, let's make this a little bit more even. Okay. Well, I got a little speck there. So I'm going to Leave that red alone for just a minute. Hey, Ashley, how are you, baby girl? Got to see Ashley today, her and Carly, and her friend Jaden came over. And uh, we got to go to lunch at Gringo's, and y'all know it's always a good day when you get to eat with family. Well, eating's good no matter what, but especially with family. We were talking about Thanksgiving food today. I, don't, I really don't know why, but that's what we were talking about. <laughs> and then we all sit around talking about food and wonder why we <clears throat> are not exactly at our ideal weight. Okay. I've got a big tag and I'm going to um, shade this with green, just with Christmas green, not shading green, okay? So I'm gonna pull some paint up here and I'm gonna do something like that. Now when you see the green, green is gonna be kind of uh, transparent somewhat on that white. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a harder time getting enough paint on there, but that's okay. I just like the green on there. To me, it kind of makes it look real Christmassy, if Christmassy is a word. <laughs> and um, so I'm doing this, kind of going back and forth, gonna put quite a bit of paint there. I'm gonna cover up my little red. I had a little red bobo there. And because my tag is kind of big, I probably will do this. Just kind of come in here and make some little swish marks. Okay, now my bone, I'm actually going to do a, a light gray. I think it's number 24 gray. And that green that I just used with the shading was a number 11 Christmas green. And I'm using the same brush all night as far as my um, shader and it's a number 12. So this is that 24 gray. <laughs> Hello, I'm late to the party. Oh well, as long as you're here, Ashley. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And when I get over here at the middle of it, I kind of pull up because I like that tail look on there. So I'm gonna kind of pull up like that. I'm gonna kind of come over here. I've got a bobo right here, but I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna fix that when I do my highlights. I've got a red bobo there, okay? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda come over here and do the same thing on, on the bone. And I'm gonna pull up. I just kinda go around here and pull up. That's all I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. All right, I would kinda do in here, but I think there's not quite enough space. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now, I've got a lot of gray on there, but not quite happy exactly with how much. So I'm going to take, still using the same gray, I'm gonna take my um, script liner and I'm gonna kinda load it up. And I'm just gonna go around on this outside and get me a dark, dark gray on that outside, the very outside. I need to put some paint right there. You don't really have to do this step. It's just kind of giving me giving it some more paint on those edges. So I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. Come over here. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm ready to go back to my uh, shading red. So I'm gonna pull the shading red and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over. I could go over this bow with black but that's really not, um, I, when I do that, to me, it makes a real stark difference. So I'm going to just go with red. Shading red, I've already shaded it with my shader brush, right? And I'm just coming back over it, giving it some more paint, making a definite outline of it, if you will, like that. Kind of like this. And then I'm, notice I'm hitting the bottom of my brush here. I'm hitting the bottom of that uh, cup because what am I wanting to do? I'm wanting to load up that paint and get a lot on there. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and cover up all that that's not, that's showing that wasn't supposed to where that CNC is, where that CNC line is. And I'm just outlining it. It's all I'm doing in the same color that I shaded it in. I like that better than putting black on here. I'm gonna kind of come up here. So you can see I have a lot of paint on this red bow, but that's kind of the way I like it. You don't necessarily have to do it that way. Hey, just kind of put on there whatever color you like with the, the amount of paint that you like, okay? So I'm gonna set this aside for just a minute. I'm gonna come back over here. So I'm coming back over here to my poinsettia. Now when I look at this, to me, this guy needs the same thing that that red bow needed. It needs some more red paint just to outline it. And we're gonna get back to these green petals, the green leaves here in a minute. And all I'm doing is I'm just putting more paint on here. Just giving more, more definition, more color, if you will. Same color, just different brush that I'm using. I've already shaded it in the shading red. Now I'm outlining it in the shading red. lots of red lots of shading red I should say I'm going 
be the last of the red flower part. Now on my green, I'm not going to do any shading on my green because it's a very small area. And what I, but what I will do is just use this same script liner that I've been using all evening and just going and getting my dark green color, which I think this is a number 12. I, let me see if I can get away with not putting any water in here. I think I can. We'll try it. <laughs> I call Ashley by our family name. <laughs> Yeah, we all have our little nicknames, don't we, y'all? I'm just gonna go around here on the outside. I've got too much paint there. Okay, I'm not gonna bring it up in there. I'm gonna let that red be the outline right there. But I'll start here and I'll just kind of drag towards me. And I'm going to do this. I'm gonna have to put some more water in here, y'all. Okay, you see how my paint is kind of spotting up on me? Or um, however you want to say that. I'm not getting a constant flow there on my stroke, brush stroke. So I'm going to put some water in here. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. Okay, I think I got enough water in there, y'all. There we go. I'm getting more of a better stroke now. And all I did was put some more water in there. Okay. I probably would start in here like that, yeah. It's such a little area, you can't really tell by looking, but I have a very, trying to have a very light hand, which for me is kind of hard. I have a heavy hand. And I'm going to come up here and do something like that. Up here. And last but not least, here's the last one. And I'm going to come in here like this. Now, I am almost done, but I do need some white. And you can tell I've got all of my spaces in, on this poinsettia because it's only, I don't know, 12, 13 inches. So it's not a very big piece to begin with. So what I'm going to have to do when I do the white, that means I'm going to have to be, Hey, Miss Victoria, how are you? So good to see you. In fact, I have, um, I'll touch base with you tomorrow. I'll reach out to you tomorrow. I've got a couple of things I need to send your way. Uh, I'm gonna put some white in here. And, and I don't need a lot. You don't, you don't, I think Miss Victoria was saying the other night, and she's so right, the paint will go a long way if you just kind of use it sparingly. But I put some white in here. And I put some water, okay? Because I gotta have lots of water. Lots of water. And, uh, see there we go all right so I've got that in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and wherever I have some space which y'all can see is not a lot I'm gonna start just kind of making a couple of little swipes in here on my yellow circles just very uh, very very slight not a lot okay and then I'm gonna do something like this and I'm just trying to give it a little bit of a highlight not a lot, mm -hmm. especially on this green because I've got to be very dainty with that, right? To me, I think Ashley and I were saying, we've said before, doing the little stuff to me is harder than doing the big stuff because you got to be a little more careful because you don't have as much space. And I'm just going to kind of come in here and get with some white. That's all I'm going to do. But you can kind of see the difference in this section right here. 
I've got that white, right? And then look at this over here that I don't. It's just a way of uh, kind of like when you get your hair colored. Some of us have to get our hair colored, not all of us. And they put highlights in. Same thing. Same thing. It just gives it a little bit more depth. And that's, that's really, that does make a difference when you're talking about in terms of art. I'm just going in between wherever I have room to put that white. Some spaces are kind of small. I don't have a lot of room, but that's okay. I'm just going to make it really, really small. And then here we go. And I just about had my poinsettia done. There's not a lot to him, really. It's pretty, pretty easy. There you go. That's my Christmas poinsettia. I think he's super cute. All right, let's go over here. I got a few bobos over here. That's why I think Ashley said the other night, if you get bobos, don't worry about it. You can go fix it at the very end. And um, I've got some bobos right here. Just not a lot, but I got a little, do a little bit of touching up right there and some in here. Now, I'm noticing on my green tag down here, I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna come over here, and this is that dark green. I'm just gonna outline it a little bit. Nope, got too far there. So if you get too far, no big deal. Just come in here and wipe it off, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna come in here on this CNC line and just hit that line. Gonna come back up here, kind of go back and forth a little bit to hit that line really good. I'm gonna come over here. I'm just outlining in the dark greens all I'm doing. Well, let's see it. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of come in here. All right, now, um, I'm debating, should I go ahead and put the name on here or let this dry? Tell you what, for purposes of doing the video, I'll go ahead and put the name on here. So, I'm gonna do it in this dark green. Mine smears when you wipe it off, yeah. And you know, if it does, just let the smear dry and then come back and um, put a little bit of paint on top of it. That, that's really all you can do. So in order to do the name, I'm gonna hit this brush on the bottom of my cup. I'm gonna hit it kind of hard so it'll give me quite a bit of paint. And I'm gonna do my dog's name. And it's just what I call my teacher, uh, what, what do you, what, what you call it? Lettering, uh, block lettering or, or uh, not, not script, but the other one. Yeah, just regular E L L I. And I'm gonna do my E this way. Ellie. And then her her name is Ellie May. And I kind of exaggerate it. I kind of start here and go up, come back down, and then go up. This her name is Ellie May. She's my baby girl. Everybody around here says she's bad, but she's not that bad. Yeah, Ashley, are you watching? Thank you, Debbie, for bringing that to my attention. Ashley always refuses to put names on stuff because she says she doesn't know how. I think she knows how. She just is used to her mom doing it. Ellie May. She my girl, y'all. She might be a little crazy, but not too, too much. Okay, 
So I'm going to go back now and um, put some white highlights on the dog bone because I didn't do that part. So I've got my name there. Oh, hold on. Ashley said she's crazy. She is kind of crazy. Okay, so I put it this way. Hopefully, y'all seeing it the right way? So there's my lettering. And y'all, it's not anything special. It's just what I call teacher handwriting where you can really, really see it. Uh, and I'm on, I'm on a live. So anyway, uh, that's what I do right here. Thank you, John. And um, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just, I'm gonna kind of put quite a few, quite a bit of white on here. Cause I think this thing says, uh, it's too dark and it needs it. Let me go scoot down where y'all can see. All right, I'm just gonna put quite a bit. Of, oh, I made a boo-boo, y'all. I'm gonna kind of come up here like that, like that. Notice I didn't outline the rest of the bone uh, other than, I mean, I just did the gray is all I did. I didn't put another color on it because to me, the focus of the bone is really the bow and the name. So I'm gonna turn this around so y'all can see. So there's our doggy bone. Who doesn't like a doggy bone? All right, now you guys, Ashley will be here tomorrow night um, with a sneak peek. And I have to say, because the sneak peek is for um, August and September, it might take a while because there's lots of stuff. Uh, dogs taking after their owners. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, Ellie Mae is kind of like crazy, but she's in love with me and I love her. So, you know, hey, what can I say? But anyway, Ashley will be here tomorrow with, uh, tomorrow night at seven o'clock with a sneak peek. We've got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, lots of cute fall stuff. And um, then we'll be back, um, I guess, business as usual on Monday. I don't remember what we got on Monday. Uh, I know Ashley has an announcement tomorrow. That I do know. So, I hope you guys have a good one. I appreciate y'all supporting us. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. It's been good. Hey, man, I can't believe we got through it in about 30-something minutes. I'm doing pretty good, huh? Uh, you guys come by and see us when you can, and y'all have a good evening. Thank you so, so, so much. Bye-bye. Mm. I can't get it to stop.